Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to install this update that is KB5039211. So if you are unable to install this update on your Windows 10 computer, then please follow the steps shown in this video. The first step is to run update troubleshooter for this open Windows 10 settings and then go to update and security. Now click on troubleshoot. Now click on additional troubleshooters. Over here you can see Windows update, click on it and then click on run the troubleshooter. Once the troubleshoot is, troubleshoot is complete, now restart the computer. Make sure that you restart the computer after this and after the system restart, update your Windows 10 once again. Still you are unable to update, then the next step is to use Windows 10 update assistant. For this, copy this link, the link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser, it will take you to Microsoft website. Over here you can see Windows 10 update assistant. Click on update now. Now uh, this will download the exe file, run the exe file. So run this exe file, click on yes to allow. Now this will load Windows 10 update assistant. If there is any pending update, it will let you know. So it will check for update and if there is any update, you can click on accept and install and after the installation restart the computer and your windows 10 should be up to date still you are unable to update in that case you can reset windows update components for this copy all these command these commands are provided in the video description so copy the command till here and open notepad on your computer so type in notepad in windows search box and then open notepad paste all the command over here now go to file then click on save as you can set the location at desktop and then name this file as wufix.bat and for save as type select all files now click on save now go to desktop make a right click on wufix.bat file make a right click and then click on run as administrator make sure that you are opening this file as an administrator click on yes to allow now this will open command prompt. First of all, it will stop all the Windows update services and then it will run couple of scans. Now the scan will take some time. So let the scan complete. There are a couple of scans. So the scan will take time. And once the scans are complete, it will restart all the Windows update services. And once the restart is complete, again restart the computer and after the system restart, update your Windows 10 once again. Now the next step is to still you are un unable to update in that case use media creation tool. This is the last step. So you can again go to this website. Now scroll down over here you can see media creation tool. Click on download tool now and once the download is complete run this exe file and then you will see this screen. So click on accept and by default upgrade this PC now would be selected. Click on next and it will start downloading Windows 10 along with the latest update. Now this process will take some time. Now before the installation on this screen, once the download is complete on this screen, before the installation, you will see the screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep your personal files and app would be checked. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. So click on install after the installation, log into your computer and then update your Windows. Now if you are receiving this error code while updating your Windows 10 then please follow the rest of the steps shown in this video. First of all let me inform you that you are receiving this error message because if your computer does not have a recovery partition that's the reason you are receiving this error message. Now to fix it you have to manually resize your partition by 250 MB. Now for this you have to run these commands. These commands are provided in the video description. So copy it. So type in CMD in Windows search box make a right click on command prompt app and then click on run as administrator. Make sure that you open command prompt as an administrator. Click on yes to allow and then paste the command over here. Hit the enter key. Once that is done, run the second command. All the commands are provided in the video description. Paste it. Hit the enter key. Now type in disk part. Now once that is done, type in list disk. 
and over here you will see the disk now type in select disk 0 now 0 disk 0 is my c drive where operating system is installed so i will type in select disk 0 this is where my operating system is installed now hit the enter key now type in list part now this is to find out which partition your operating system is on now so type in list part hit the enter key now over here then select disk part 3 this is usually where windows is installed so here you can see this is primary so often named primary so in my case it's select disk part 3 so in my case it's partition 3 primary where the operating system is installed in this partition so i will type in select part 3 hit the enter key now you have to run this command that is shrink desired is equal to 250 minimum 250 as it is hit the enter key this may take couple of seconds now once done here you can see successfully shrunk by volume by 250 mb now i have to type in select part 4 now this is where usually the win re partition named recovery but it's best to verify uh, typically it, you might see 500 mb partition by default or in my case let me check so yeah this is the right one here you can see partition for recovery 556 mb so i will select this select part 4 this is usually the winari partition named recovery so you can select part 4 hit the enter key now once selected now you run this command that is delete partition override hit the enter key now once this is done now you have to create a new recovery partition so first of all you have to check your disk partition style is gpt or mbr so now to find out you have to type in list disk over here to check whether it's gpt or mbr so here you can see under gpt there is a asterisk sign over here so if you this if you see this under gpt that means you have gpt so in my case it's uh, gpt so if your disk is gpt then you have to run these two commands so copy this command in my case it's gpt now copy this paste it over here hit the enter key once that is done copy the second command paste it over here hit the enter key now if your disk is mbr then you can run this command i i don't have mbr so i will not run this command now once that is done now you have to run these commands so copy these commands one by one paste it over here hit the enter key again list volume hit the enter key now exit hit the enter key now paste it over here hit the enter key now again copy this let this complete first now paste the last command hit the enter key now once this is done you can close this and then you can try to update your windows 10 once again so you can go to updates and then you can click on check for update and you can install your update in my case it is already installed i've already installed also please note if creation failed or you do not want to extend the winari partition in that case you can run this command to re-enable winari and you can get the detailed information so you can go to this website I did in the video description here you can see the instruction to manually resize your partition to install winari update so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install these updates successfully on your windows 10 computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe